on the uh, Zigzag America radio program tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, right now, uh, we're going to put Aniria up on the stage and embarrass her. I mean, not embarrass her. Um, let her do her uh, routine for a couple of minutes. Then uh, Zigzag America is going to be right back with live rock and roll music. These guys are one of the best bands I've ever heard, and uh, they're going to come back here in a couple of minutes and play. Remember, they have a tip jar. Um, they keep reminding me of that every time they take me out back and beat me. And, oh, I see Dina's got it. But you can't really see it because Dina's a midget. No problemo. Okay. So where you at in there? Yeah, let, me, let me talk to you for a minute. I mean, are you on the stage yet? You got to talk into one of those microphones so I can hear you. Uh, that's fine. Stop, Craven. Stop, Aniria. When I first met you, I, I couldn't see you because I didn't have my glasses on, so I didn't know if you were a Neria or a Faria. Uh, so I, you know, oh, I know that's bad. But I know how it is. I know how it is. <laughs> I'm not going to ruin your comedy routine, but I want you to have a good time up there. So, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Aniria. She's going to make you uh, laugh. Yeah, baby. Let's the party parrot. Let's hear it for me. Am I allowed to move any of this or leave it leave it alone? What? Go on, uh, anywhere you want to go. Oh. This. Just talk. Yeah. As far as that cord will let you go, about two feet. Okay, but I, I have to leave this here, right? The bet mic stand? That's Jimmy. She can take it with you. <laughs> it's water heaven over here. How are you guys doing? Right. Zigzag rocks, right? You love my shoes? Oh, yeah, they're my sequence converse. Thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> See? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? No, anyway. <laughs> I'll kick his ass. Yeah, have you seen the motherfucker? I am not going to try to kick his ass. <laughs> no. So my name is Aniria, and for those of you that weren't here, I am part Puerto Rican, part Salvadorian, which means that to most of you fuckers, I'm Mexican. Right? Yeah, it's crazy. And uh, I thought, hey, I'm going to come up here and psych everybody out and talk in Spanish. But you know what? I'm not in the mood to hear you guys going, oh my God, I think she's talking bad about us. So... You know what you're. You know what I'm saying now. No. <laughs> no English. Yeah, we had an in interesting immigration talk earlier in the radio. It was exciting. They weren't even concerned about the immigrants. They were concerned about the weed. Like we got to leave people in Mexico. What was it they said? Leave people in Mexico because we need to have people to grow the stuff and bring it back. So, um, so I am Latina, and, um, but I guess I look Middle Eastern. You guys think I look Middle Eastern? Yeah, yeah right? I got stopped by airport security, and they gave me a full body cavity search. Whoa. I know. Well, yes, I'm up there four times a week now. Thank you. <laughs> See, we're right here. We're right here. <laughs> Fucked up. And the days they don't notice me, I don't mind throwing in a little blah, 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 Yeah, you wish. <laughs> but you will be next week, right? There you go. <laughs> so what's going on, Red? All right. All those rednecks. I don't think I'm outnumbered here. No, I'm just kidding. There's a difference between bikers and rednecks. I'll figure that joke out for next time. But... Um, so birthday girl, happy birthday. Thank you. And, I, and you said you were 55? And this gentleman behind you, is that your husband? Yes. Wow. Happy birthday, you look great. I have good friends. You do have good friends. Yeah, and zigzag, they did this for you? That's awesome. And uh, you look good for 55, holy shit. Yeah, she does. No, you're not, you're not. And so this gentleman is behind you. How long have you guys been married? 34 years. What did he say, forever? You notice she just kept talking, right? So I ain't listening to this motherfucker right now. I 
Uh, <laughs> that is, that's funny. Uh, is he your age? Is he younger? Older? Well, you look good for your age. He claims he, oh, he's staying the same age. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, I'm divorced, and when I got divorced, how many people here are divorced? That's a lot. You know, divorce is hard, isn't it? It's hard even if you are the one asking for the divorce, because you realize, oh my God, now I've got to do things that I've never done on my own before. I was scared to go to the mechanic. And then I thought about it, and I thought, you know what? Well, I'm sorry. I messed that up already. I was scared to go to the mechanic, you know why? Because I was afraid he was gonna take advantage of me. And then I thought about it again and I thought, hey, listen, if he uses a condom, I'm perfectly okay with it. Perfectly okay with it. <laughs> and, and I was asking you about his age because you know, when I got divorced, I noticed that younger men dig older chicks. They really do. And um, I started dating younger men, right? Natural progression. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and, but I discovered that um, younger men are fun, but they come with a lot of rules. Rules like, um, if my mom answers, just hang up the phone. You know? Or, Aniria, you know I can't pick you up. It's just a learner's permit. The, yeah. The skate, yeah. You know how hard it is to be on one of those fucking skateboards when you look like this? <laughs> How to give that shit up. That's good, that's a good one. But, um, and then I noticed that date, I'm in my 40s, so dating in your 40s is different from dating in your 20s. Because when I was in my 20s, I waited till like date number five before I let a guy touch me. In my 40s, if his hand isn't in my bra on the way to dinner, I'm sipping him a roofie. He is not fucking up my night. You know, I got to pay for a babysitter. Who gave me the roofie? I got shit to do, you know what I mean? So, it's just crazy, crazy stuff, this whole day thing. But, um, and I have kids. Anybody here have kids? Yeah. Kids are great. I have a teenage son. And I know, I know. But, you know, he's interesting because he still spends time with me. Like, he'll go walking with me. And when we walk, he teaches me things, you know? Like, he said, Mom, did you know that the Egyptians, when they um, die, they like to be buried with things that they love? I said, no, I didn't know that. He's like, so when Cleopatra died, she wanted to be buried with her cats. And I was like, wow, man, I've heard of girls liking pussy, but that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. He rolls his eyes on me, yeah, mom of the year. <laughs> the, listen, that kid, I had to have it at six or seven or something like that. But, oh my God, I'm gonna have to write probably about that too now. But, um, so, and I have a daughter. She, and, and my ex-husband is from Alabama and Jewish. Great, yeah. That's the first I've ever heard. Exactly. <laughs> Lucky girl. Well, you know what? I kept an open mind and I thought, hey, you know, he's Jewish, I'm Catholic-ish. <laughs> but uh, he just, he, he drank a little too much. And so um, I realized this when we got invited to a bar mitzvah, he brought his own cooler. I was like, wow. But then again, I never been to a bar mitzvah at a Cracker Barrel, so. <laughs> it's crazy. And then when you get divorced, you know what else I noticed? You've got to start looking good again, or at least try to, you know? So I started shopping at Victoria's Secret so I could get very sexy, right? And of course, I mean very sexy, the perfume, because it's the only fucking thing that fits me in that store. I mean, even the lotion is too tight. What the fuck? It's crazy. And men, you guys, you worry about your image too. I mean, look at the way the, all these guys are wearing <laughs> It's true. They worry about their image. I was sitting with two comedians, they were men, and they were talking about all the diets they were on, and I had nothing to contribute to the conversation. And they finally, they look at me and they're like, um, so what diet are you on, Aniria? 
I'm on the, I got big tits so a little extra weight doesn't fucking matter diet. You know, I get great results. Well, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> so, a food diet. Seafood diet. Well, no, no, I'm not that bad. <laughs> well, you know, I was talking to Jimmy. There he is. And I was asking him, hey, you know, I, I, I think it's cool that you sing. Maybe one day I want to sing too. Like, what do you do before, you know, you sing? Well, what are some of your things that you do when you prepare? And he says, well, first of all, I think he doesn't really talk like that, but first of all, I, I can't eat because I need space for my diaphragm to expand. I'm like, I'm fucking out. I'm doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I, if you can't tell me don't eat before a show. Fuck that. Uh-uh. No, no. But I love doing stand-up. I, uh, I, there's, you know, I have a day job, but I always wanted to be a cop. And, uh, well, they actually told me that, um, <laughs> he's... <laughs> It, but you know, they, they, I, but I didn't make it. I, I just, I wasn't able to do it. I really don't know what the big fucking deal is about wanting to frisk people while I'm on my knees. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then they gave me shit about the way I use the handcuffs. I'm like, well, who the fuck uses only one pair? You know? And they use it like this. I use two and I use it like this. Fuck that. <laughs> But, um, so anybody here do internet dating? No, of course. Did you cut me off? Oh, no, that's just me. <laughs> internet dating is scary, ladies, let me tell you. Be careful when you're talking to guys online. I know you guys are gonna admit it, but I know you bitches have talked to somebody online. <laughs> guys don't give a shit, they'll say anything. I was talking to this guy for the first time, first conversation. He tells me, um, I've always wanted to fuck a girl in the ass while she's playing with herself. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you wanna know what I said? You might change your mind now. I said, really? Well, I've always wanted to fuck a guy in the ass while he's screaming, stop! Tit for tat, motherfucker. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm gonna leave you with this last joke, all right? I, um, I'm actually engaged. Yay, after all my little dating adventures. I'm engaged, he's here actually. He's only 16, no. I don't go illegal. <laughs> I cross, the, I mean, I, I dance around the border, but I don't go <laughs> So, uh, but I, I, he's a great guy. He really is. He's very, very nice. And I'm not going to lie, I had to kiss a lot of frogs before I found him. Suck a, f yeah, suck a few of their dicks. I'm just, and it's true what they say. It tastes like chicken. So. <laughs> So anyway, um, that's, an, that's me, I'm Aniria. You guys can find me on Facebook, A-N-I-R-I-A, -I 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 whatever, I don't even know how to spell my own fucking name. <laughs> yeah, but um, find me on Facebook or just Google my name. There's not a lot of Anirias in this world. There are some, but there's not a lot. I'll come up pretty easily. Or go to the Funny Diva show. That's another uh, show that I produce. So now, Dina, are you ready? Yes. Now we're gonna have something for the birthday girl. Sing. Sing. Oh, sweet. So do I hand this over to you? No, you're singing. I'm singing. You're singing. I ate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be a lot of expanding. It's a funny word, diaphragm. He just took that and ran with it. Yeah. Come on. What'd you do with my mic stand? I mean, yeah. This chorus. Yeah.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brenda. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Birthday parties are fun. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zigzag America birthdays. We've done birthdays, weddings. Love this place. <laughs> you guys want to hear some Zigzag America, y'all? All right, people, are you guys ready? Because uh, on the stage tonight, up and coming, one of the bands you're gonna be hearing on the radio every day. It is Zigzag America, and uh, these guys come here once a month, do the radio show, play. I wanna tell you what, we love you guys, Zigzag America. I want everybody in the bar to get up and uh, at least uh, big old hell yeah, and put your hands together for Zigzag America. Let's hear it, come on.
We got one Puerto Rican, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> See. See. Wait a second. guy read man he's at every fucking show
coming. Right now, we'll do so.
Now, I guess you figured it out. We do do covers. We do do. But we, we're not good enough to do them exactly how they go. So we do them our own way. Check this one out.
Have them play it like that, else they wouldn't play it. Craven. We do thinking. Who wants to see Craven come up here and play a song with us? The motherfucker's a cool motherfucker to really rip up a 12 string. We have this song that he really digs. I couldn't wait for this, Craven. Strap on, huh? <laughs> Get your pictures now. Because rumor has it Craven's replacing me. The plaque's on the wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it was just a joke. But when I first read it, I was like, those guys kicked me out and brought Craven in? Really? You were so stoned he didn't. You were so he didn't even know. I had to think about it really good. I'm like, did they really do that? <laughs> what dicks? Fucking dicks. All the work, all the time. This next song Damn, it is. That's why it would came from a poem my daughter wrote. She moved out on me and I was cleaning out her room and under her bed I found all these poems. No shit, this is true. And literally it was a whole big mess. So I pulled them all out and I'm going through all these poems that she wrote. And I run across this one that says thinking on the top of it. And it kind of caught my eye, so I kept it and kept it in my stuff, my books and stuff that we do when we rehearse. And these guys were playing this riff, and it kind of went perfect to it. So I really sing this poem, word for word, everything she wrote. But now, she's made me a grandfather twice now. So. Electrified over here. This is a song called Thinking. It's a great song. Oh, my God. 
We play a bunch of places, you know. Sometimes they just no. Thanks, guys. You got to come across the bridge to have some fucking fun over here in Tampa. Thank you, man. Wow. 
Yeah. Fuck you. Yes, I remember. I love this place. This is track four of our album. guys still with us? We get, we're keeping you entertained up here. Just stop playing. Just stop. Love y'all. Here's a 
song we run called Crazy Stripper. Oh, 
We've never played this song out. Check it out.
it's perfect timing. So perfect timing, you don't even know. Watch. You, we all needed beers for this next song. And you just like magically made them appear. I had one though. <laughs> Are we still having fun here at the radio bar? Play a couple more, then take another break. It's called San Francisco. We're going to drink all the way there.
drinking in this bitch? Tampa, are we drinking on this side of the bridge? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do one more song, take a break. This next song we did earlier on the radio show, if you were around. We did the acoustic, but this is really how it goes.
We're going to take a quick break. We got some more good stuff if you stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Zigzag America. I know you guys love them. Uh, show a little love, throw some money in the tip jar for them there. They're going to be a big-ass bucket up there. Oh, no, we weren't talking about your butt, Jimmy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they have a bucket, uh, a tip bucket up there. <laughs> so, you know, throw some money in the thing, man. What the hell's wrong with you guys? And uh, they're going to come back and uh, play another set here in a minute. So, um, hey, we're going to keep rocking it all night here at the Radio Bar and Grill. I'm glad you guys are here having a good time with us. Because that, for Christ's sake, that's what it's all about. <laughs> We're having fun. We're going to keep having fun here, so I'll, I'll play a little background music for a minute. And then it's more easy listening country on WPRN DB uh, 102.1 FM.
Cause I need some place to hide I done the rancher's daughter And I showed it hurt his pride
Yeah, okay, then there's a story that a lot of us been through at one time or another, one kind of way or another. About a cat running around town and this old lady think she don't want him around and a whole lot of people from across the tracks are putting him down. <laughs> Nobody would want to face up to the cat has something, but clearly everybody's against him because the cat might be a little bit different. So he goes on the road and be a voodoo child. Come back and be a magic boy. Right now we tune in on him and wait down the train station, wait for his train to come in so we can do his thing. Well, I hear my train coming, hear my train coming, hear my train coming.
Rolling down a backwoods Tennessee byway One arm on the wheel Holding my lover with the other A sweet, soft, southern thrill Worked hard all week Got a little jingle Of southern thrill Worked hard all week Better
dance marching into the night They disappear to the left and right again Another supper from a sack A 99 cent heart attack I got a pound in head and an aching back And the camel's buried in a big straw stack I'm gonna live where the green grass flows Watch my corn pop up in rows Every night be tucked in close to you Raise our kids where the good Lord's blessed Point our rocking chairs towards the west And plant our dreams where the peaceful river flows Where the green grass flows A map dot, a stop sign on a black top. I caught the first bus I could hop from there. But all of this glitter is a getting dark. There's concrete growing in the city park. I don't know who my neighbors are. And there's bars on the corners and bars on my heart. But I'm gonna live where the green grass grows. Watch my corn pop up in rows. Every night be tucked in close to you Raise our kids where the good Lord's blessed Point our rocking chairs towards the west Plant our dreams where the peaceful river flows Where the green grass grows Watch my corn pop up in rows Every night be tucked in close to you Raise our kids where the good Lord's blessed Point our rocking chairs towards the west And plant our dreams where the peaceful river flows Whoa, where the green grass grows It's a beautiful morning
you say that? Is it uh, Amiria? Uh, Amiria, America, Amiria, yeah. America, Amiria. How'd you get here from the country you came from? And, the, um, and to America, Amiria. Oh, never mind. She wants, uh, she wants to... Mary, get up there and uh, tell us a couple more jokes, and then we're going to have Zigzag America. We love you, Mary. Uh, Mary uh, I thought her name was... Uh, I'm trying to find where... It's Aniria. And I said Anvaria. It's not a Myria. It's an Aniria. Yeah, like... That sounds like some kind of like disease you get in your area. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, give it up for uh, Aniria. She's back on the stage again. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Aniria, let me tell you. Aniria. They got me. Up are you? Who's talking? <laughs> anyway, I know, isn't it? So, um. So, I, I, let me start with my name. You know, it's hard with a name like Aniria and you come to the South. I remember the first day of school, the teacher was like, children, please help me welcome our new girl. Her name is Anaria. Are you kidding me? <laughs> By recess, I was diarrhea, gonorrhea. You get the picture, right? And then I was so stupid because I would try to correct everybody. No, it's Aniria. Oh, Veneria. <laughs> so uh, it was tough living in the South. Um, but you know, I'm here and I came on a plane. <laughs> I didn't swim. Although that sounds refreshing right now. Huh? It was a jet plane. I was a rich bitch. No, I wasn't. Oh my god, I'm like... It is, it is tricky. They've got it rigged out just like they wanted. So, um, so let me see, what can we talk about now? Um, I don't know, what do you guys want to talk about? Anything in particular? No? How about strippers? Because you know, I like that song, Crazy Stripper. Oh my god. They already did. Yeah. <laughs> Dina's like, are they gonna play that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, so listen. When I, you know how I was telling you guys that I got divorced before, one of the first things that I did is I went to a mail review. But I'm yes, but I made the mistake and I went to a mail review in Polk County. Oh my God, yes. I remember that I went there and the first guy that came out was dressed like a cowboy, which I thought was really strange because I thought the whole purpose of male reviews was to be with men, I mean to fantasize about being with men you're never going to be with. And we were in Polk County and he was dressed like a cowboy. And he came out and he looked really authentic. He had like this big uh, 10 gallon hat and a 20 gallon gut to match, you know? <laughs> And then, and then, it was crazy. And then he started taking off his clothes, and he took off his wife beater shirt, his flannel shirt, his Garth Brooks shirt. When he came down to the pants, he dropped them, and he was not wearing a thong. He was wearing regular underwear. It was crazy. And it wasn't like, um, you know, like the boxer briefs that are kind of, it was like tidy whities It was, it was, it was bad. And they weren't white anymore. They were like an oyster gray. I was like, man, how are you gonna go up there and wear your period panties? That's fucked up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so it was really, really crazy. And, um, you know, I was talking about my age, how it's different when you're dating your 40s. Then when your 20s, another difference is that when you're in your 20s, your priorities are different when you look for men, right? Your priorities are more like, well, does he have a good job? Does he drive a nice car? You know, does he look good? In your 40s, 
I want to know, like, what ailments does he bring to the table? You know, he's 300 pounds. His back always hurts. Uh, can It's hardcore. Oh, it's the cord. I'm sorry. It was hardcore. <laughs> you know how hard it is to take somebody's blood pressure while they're asleep? That's fucked up. I need to know. Can he take the Viagra? How hard can I pull on those hair plugs? I want to know these things. You know, those are priorities. So it all changes. <laughs> I, uh, let me think. And then, oh, and then um, I realized when I started dating, too, that... Um, not, not the guys here, of course, but like a lot of men think they know everything about women. Like they think that all women want to be romanced, you know, that they want to go back to uh, the beach and see the sunset. Well, you know what? Not all of us want that. If you want to be romantic with me, put your arm around me and just accidentally touch my tit. Right? Perk my interest. <laughs> it works for you, right? <laughs> Perk my interest a little bit. Then when we go out to eat, like, order oysters. Show me what you're working with, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. And then when on the way home, put a little music on, you know? Maybe a little stranglehold. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me how you always wanted that to be your wedding song. That's fucking romantic as shit. You know what I mean? And then, um, also, women, I'm gonna give you this, guys. We all do like surprises. We just don't all like the same type of surprises. Like some women wanna be surprised by being taken out to the new restaurant in town. If you wanna surprise me, have another dude jump out of the closet to join us. You know? And if you wanna go the extra mile, have another one come up from under the bed of film it. Fucking love surprises. <laughs> I love you too, Tina. <laughs> see, you're with me, right? You see, you see, you see. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna leave you with an anal joke. You love. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God. Well. Uh, what is it with men and anal sex? Oh my God. Like my boyfriend wanted to try it and I was like, oh, all right. And so I went and got the strap on. Yeah. Cause I wanted to give him the same pleasure you're gonna give me, honey. I wanna match you stroke to stroke, darling. I wanna smack you on the ass, grab you by the hair and pull your head back and whisper in your ear. Ooh, sing Baba Lou now, motherfucker. <laughs> In that, holy shit. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, exactly. I bet you're not a baritone no more. That's a good one. But anyway, my name is Aniria. Remember to look for me on Facebook. And if you can't find me, go to ZigZag's page, because I'm there. <laughs> so anyway, you guys have been great. I'm going to go ahead and leave you to ZigZag. Zigzag America gonna play a couple more songs, they said. Now, however many songs you get depends on how much money gets up in that, that bucket over there. Um, thanks, Anna Rhea, for, uh, is that how you say it? Aneria. Anna Rhea, um, sounds like she's got a disease. <laughs> say it one more time. Aneria. I'm near you too, but I mean, what's your name? Oh. Craven's fun. Aneria, let's hear it for Aneria one more time because she, she rocks. I'm, I'm trying to talk her into doing a radio show here, just like um, Jimmy and the guys here in the band do. Uh, we love Radio Bar and Grill, and uh, we love everybody that comes in here. Thanks for coming in. I got a full beer. You guys want to hear some more?
it only happens once a month, right, girls? <laughs> you can tell by the smell when the girls ain't feeling well. When that time of the month rolls around. Uh, no, I, I'm not exactly in tune with him. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and money in the tip jar. Let's hear it for Zigzag America. Here they are.
We still partying in here? Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Oh, I'm sick and high. 
Thank you. Hey, Craven, you know there's like a hole over here? I'm like, as I catch a, a, a larger buzz, the hole didn't bother me at first. But I'm like, I'm like falling over now. Oh, oh, oh. The weight thing. The weight thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do some more zigzag for you. That's like, all right, we call this one Jezebel Spirit. Lots of wild looking on all the 
We'll play a couple more. Oh, 
Thank you for coming out and sticking around. He's exhausted. You see the way the guy plays the fucking drums? <laughs> Five hour energy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Something up.